The people of Constantinople may keep their possessions. There will be no looting. In return, you will open the gates of the city and kiss the hands of our Sultan. Sultan Mehmet will be the one ruler of the Romans. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes off his belt, it's time to get out the way. He's already taken out his belt on the Israelite camps and on the Christian church, which is the same thing. Now he has taken out his belt on the Arabians. Now, the Imams, they have been using their people as shields. Now think about the war. They was using their own people as shields during the war. And that is all going into how the Arabians are hiding behind their imams, their Arabian imams. They are supposed to go to their black mahdi. They have a mahdi. Oh, let me say how y'all say it. Mahdi. You have a black mahdi, a ruler of the Arabians. And I'm here. Okay, it's all been prophesied. It's been prophesied that I'm going to lead a crusade. And there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is get out the way. My question to you is, what is the punishment for disrespecting the messenger of Allah? What is the punishment for disrespecting the prophet Muhammad? You tell me. I have another question. How come you don't know why the prophet Muhammad split the moon? Why did he split the moon? He split the moon because he split his kingdom with a black man. The prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. I love him so much. He split his kingdom with a black man. He didn't split his kingdom with the white man. Okay? They had their turn. The Arabians had they turn. Now it's our turn. Now, when you watch the book of Eli, that's a picture of Bilal. Okay, and in the description or in this video, you'll see a picture of Bilal in his last name, Rabbah. You can spell Arab. A picture, the ruler of the Arabs. This man is on top of the Kaaba, just like in my house. Okay, and my wife can bear witness to that. This man was on top of the Kaaba and the Arabians is on the bottom and the Arabians was on the bottom because it's a picture of what's going to happen right now. Right now, God has given the kingdom to a black man. He's given the kingdom to Mahdi. Now the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He chose to have his kingdom poor because he didn't want to take the glory of Solomon. Now Solomon is going into Solomon. It is going into the Mandi. Okay. The prophet Mohammed, peace and blessings be upon him. He was nothing more than a messenger. He was like a real Jesus. That's all he was. He was holding down the book until the Mandi appears. Now, a lot of you are going to be shocked because you don't know nothing. The Mahdi is greater than the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad was told he is not the father of any of his men. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, was told that he is not the supervisor of his men, but the Mahdi. He is doing the job of the daddy. He is cleaning up this house. This world is in chaos. This world is in shambles. And I am here to clean up this earth. Get all of this garbage, all of this trash, all of this nonsense going on in the churches and in these mosques. I'm here to do that task, okay? This is the Mahdi's job. The prophet Muhammad was holding down the book for the Mahdi. 75% of my name is in the Quran, okay? Quan, Daquan. That's my book. He was holding it down for me. Peace and blessings be upon him. And the scriptures say that the glory of Kadar shall fail. I was once 
so just puzzled by that scripture when it says that the tents of Kadar or the glory of Kadar shall fail and shall diminish. Why? Because the glory of the Arabs is going. God has seen you. He's been witness of your racism. That pride you have in your skin is going. Why? Because it's the black man's turn. It is the black man's turn. And the prophet Muhammad, he's already told you that he will be the ruler of the Arabs. Why would he tell an Arab that he's going to be the ruler of the Arabs? This is going into another nation. Just like the prophet told about Mehmet II. And he conquered Constantinople. When he came in there, he declared himself to be the new Caesar of Rome. Okay, he was the ruler of the Romans. He wasn't a Roman. Why would a Roman be the ruler of a Roman? Why would an Arab be the ruler of an Arab? This is going into a black man. This is going into the Monty. This is going into the Monty. Clay. The stone that the builders rejected. And in the word it tells us, in the song of Solomon, oh, I love that verse. And we're going to get that. I am black but comely. Oh, you daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, that is the Arabians, as the curtains of Solomon, as that certain man, that certain man, people, Look not upon me because I'm black, because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. Why are the Arabians mad at me? Because I'm black and I am the ruler of the Arabians. Okay? It's been prophesied. Your prophet told you this. There was no need for him to put the prophet Mati in the Quran. Why? Because that's his book. He's in the Hades, okay? If you put the R on the Quran, this is the prophet, this is the Rasul, this is the prophet that's coming at the last day to clean up this house. According to the Hades, I will meet the prophet Isa. That tells you how much longer we got while you sit around here playing games. While you sitting around here with your thumb up your nose, you know what? Okay, playing all these video games, walking around here dressed like women, men wearing dresses. We going to clean up all that in Islam because I am the law man and I am here to revise. You better watch that movie, The Book of Eli. That is a picture of Bilal. He was a picture of the ruler of the Arabs and the truth is out. The prophet Muhammad told us about the Mahdi. We can see the Monty in Master P. We can see him even in Bill Cosby. Why Bill Cosby? Because right now, the Arabians are jello. They jello. They mad. Okay? They mad at the Matty. They mad that their Matty is black. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay? And regardless how much you hate me, I still love you and I still have some cool Arabians. I don't know how much longer we're going to be cool, but it doesn't matter. I'm here to do the job of Allah that he sent me to do. Okay? Now, you can keep thinking I'm, I'm going crazy. You can keep thinking that. But it's been prophesied and the truth is coming out. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do that can stop it. I am divinely protected. Okay? I got a tattoo in 2016. And it's got my wife's name on it, Maria. And it's a barcode. Okay? Now, I had no idea what that all meant. But inside a bar, you can spell Arab. Yes, you can. And inside Maria, you can spell army. I was singing about this stuff years ago. My wife used to hear me singing with the music. I got an Arab army and they marching right behind me. Got an Arab army and they marching right behind me. Time. 
Lamb is on my side in this last day battle. I was singing songs like that years ago. Okay. Then I would sing, it's been prophesied for me to lead a crusade. Okay. Now what's amazing about this is that my wife's name is Maria. You can spell army. And her last name before she met me was Barajas. You can spell Arab in her last name. So you can see Arab on my arm two times. Okay. This right here. We was divinely connected. Okay. A lot of y'all have no reverence for my wife yet. But you don't know that Allah used her. And she already knows. She knows who I am. Okay. I am Lamonti, the El Mahdi. Okay. Now we're going to see. We're going to see who is in this thing for real. We're going to see who's playing games. Okay. We can line all the Arabs up. Okay. And we can say, well, you believe in the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. And you believe that your last messenger, the Mahdi, is going to be Arabian, right? And they can get on that side. Then we can have the other side say, hey, you believe in the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. You believe that the Mahdi is Lamadi. And we can go at it. And we can go at it. Okay, we can put the bombs away and we can go at it like real men and see where you at. And if you retreat in peace, it can still be all up. Okay, but that racism, that wickedness, and you know, and you know, and I know that there's nothing but a lot of deep-seated racism, hatred for the black man, in the Arabian man, in the Arabian woman, in the Arabian daughter. They look at us like we shit, and you know it. Okay, they had their turn. They had their prophet. Now it's time for our prophet. Now it's time for our Mahdi. It's our turn. Okay, the white man had his turn. The Arabians had their turn. They were supposed to put the Christians in subjection right now. This was supposed to be an Arabian world right now. Okay, but the Prophet Muhammad left, and what happened? Allah knows best. But the Prophet Muhammad predicted that the Mahdi will restore true religion and he will clean up this house clean up this house just like me and my daughter song angela clean up this house my daddy's on his way home he's on his way home he's on his way home this is the lord's song clean clean up this house up this house my daddy now when I sung that song my daddy wasn't dead yet but he died okay and my daddy is going into the Madi that's how y'all said the Madi okay the Madi okay I am here to clean up this house this is my task my task is to clean up this house all right. How long am I going to keep cutting grass, doing landscape? How long am I going to keep washing dishes before I'm in Washington, D.C., like Denzel Washington? The whole story of my life is seen in that man. I look just like him, and he looks just like my daddy. My wife tells me that all the time. Okay. The book of Eli is a picture of the last belong. Okay, the ruler of the Arabs, whether you like it or not, you jello. I know you jello. You like Bill Cosby because the real Bilal, the real Bill, it's time to pay the bill. The real Bill is here. Assalamu alaikum to my real brothers in the truth. I'm gonna hold you accountable. Okay, I'm taking names and I'm holding you accountable. Okay, what is the punishment? For disrespecting the messenger of Allah. You tell me. You tell me. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.